Game number five, ladies and gentlemen. Secluded expanse here. It's currently three wins for Nullis to one win for Ulysses. Moving it onto this map, the big question is what are these players going to pick here? We've seen a couple of mirror matchups in this series thus far, but we're seeing something slightly different in this game. In the bottom of the map, in the blue color, playing as Oranos. His name is Ulysses. His opponent today in the red color, playing as Gaia. His name is Nullis. The map is Secluded Expanse, and we see Gaia, a serious Gaia pick in a serious tournament. Now, there could be many reasons behind this. We are seeing the Economic Guild getting dropped here for Nellis as he spots his hunt nice and early. Very good. But there could be many reasons for this from the perspective of Nellis. Reason number one could be that he actually believes that Gaia has a chance against Oranos, which is very much the case. Gaia can beat Oranos some of the time. But a more likely chance is that, that Gaia can win some of the time, but... Nullis wants to save his Uranus for a different map here. So, especially, and he saves Uranus against something that's not Uranus. Because oftentimes, the Uranus mirror comes down to micro and micro alone. We'll see how things are going to go. So, Gaia versus Uranus. So, what are the strategies here that you have to be looking out for? So, Nullis here, as Gaia, he has to play defensive. He's got to take advantage of his, uh, of his spider layers. And one other really, really nice tactic that Nullis can use to get an advantage in this matchup is to do things like mine your gold mine, especially this gold mine, earlier than your gold mine expires in your main base. That can be a really, really nice way to find a little bit more time on, uh, on gold before you get pushed off it, before a big timing comes to you and you can't hold on. We'll have to wait and see how that's going to go as the mana coming down for Nullis and the mana coming down for Ulysses. Neither player here are going to be... Oh, we see a little bit of idle time actually from Nullis, but neither neither uh, player are going to get uh, idled in terms of their town center uh, pop, uh, by getting popped at that, 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 that mana population thing. <laughs> These guys are some of the best players right now, so they're not going to they're not gonna fall for that, that tried and true noob trap. <laughs> As we do see, Nullis, he has decided to heroize his Oracle really early here. I'm not sure what that was about, but did he pick up a relic? No, we haven't seen any relics just yet. Now, in terms of the Urano strategy, you don't actually have access to Hecate in this matchup. Not really. You kind of do, you kind of don't. The reason you kind of don't is because Hecate will, uh, well, the, the Tartarian Gate, you can't use it on Gaia Lush. So you can't use it near a town center, basically. And if your opponent spreads the lush well enough, you're not going to be able to use it anywhere useful. So the real only option is to go through Helios, but that's totally fine because that's exactly what you want to do anyways. You want to use your one charge of Vortex to deal with the Gaia, either the Gaia um, Tartarian Gate or the Gaia Vortex. And then you want to use the other charges of Vortex to kill the Gaia player completely. So we'll see how it's all going to go. We've got a lot of goats here for Ulysses. Nullis, on the other hand, he's got seven goats here. It's around, it's around about normal amount here for both of these players. It seems like Nullis is deciding to not actually eat his gazelle on this position. Uh, and he's actually... Oh, God. This is going to be a very, very scary moment for Nullis. Firstly, he's Gaia foresting up his, Gaia, his, uh, his medium gold mine here. But secondly, he's still got this gap over here he has to deal with. And he's going to be running out of chicken here as well. As this next citizen comes through, he's going to be moving over onto this position as Ulysses is already clicked up through Prometheus. He's going to be putting pressure onto this position probably immediately. He is doing the kind of standard meta, which is pulling your uh, your oracles back and, and valoring them right next to on the, on the very edge of the possibilities uh, and then moving forward with those oracles. As Nullis is... Uh, Oracle Hero here is just checking this out. He could put some light harass on. It does have six damage. It's really, really strong in the uh, in the archaic age as the uh, 
military buildings coming down. We'll see if Nullis is going to be greedy and stay on this hunt or not, as Leto is on the way. Pickaxe coming through here for for Nullis. So Nullis basically has to sit in his main base. How long until this uh, this Gaia Forest comes through? It takes two minutes to go up. He put this one up probably about four minutes. So to save this tower and keep himself from just straight losing this game to early game pressure, he's going to have to Gaia Forest this as the army is going to be coming through. And we've seen this look, we've seen this already from Ulysses in one series where Shadowfax actually got absolutely dismantled by Ulysses Aranos here. As the village is sitting over here, they will be making a run for it. There is no channels here just yet. Will we see a uh, a shockwave here or not is the big question. As the automaton is going to be coming through here. The villagers just retreating back in. We've got the counter barracks coming down. No Gaia Forest onto the sentry tower here. As we do see an immediate watchtowers coming through. The counter barracks will be coming up as the automaton coming through onto that position as well. We don't see any automatons getting produced out. Carabella still popping out here as well for Nullis as he is going to be desperately trying to hold on to this position, utilizing the, uh, the citizen and everything else over here as well. As the tower is up, the Carabalister just about to pop here as well as this building here is. It's got Gaia regen and it's got uh, everything else that it needs. And Nullis can just trade units a little bit or trade HP on his villages to, to keep this going for a little bit here as he does snipe down one. Mamillo here is the counter barracks getting closer and closer to falling. The citizen going to be pulling over onto the gold mine for the time being as another fairly healthy unit coming over there to uh, to deal with this as well. We see more Karabala start coming out as the army here for Ulysses is slowly but surely getting taken out. And sooner or later, the uh, sooner or oh, he tries to get the Karabala star to get shockwaved over the counter barracks but they just don't quite make it as Null is going to be pulling back his Carabalist here it's sitting at 4 HP on the back here as this term are going to get sniped off there as Nullis doesn't take too much care of that one as Ulysses has to retreat back Nullis is probably done enough damage there to kind of make up for the early game loss though he has he has spent on watchtowers and he hasn't he has, has he lost his Automaton, he must have lost his automaton here as the uh, the counter barracks is going to be getting taken back down yet again. There will be no Gaia Forest here, but I could imagine a Gaia Forest getting dropped onto this position being really, really strong as well as the uh, Promethean coming through onto this position does manage to snipe one Gaia Ballast dead there as Nullis is still trying his best to kind of min defend on this position, but Ulysses has just got so many units on this position as he breaks through that counter barracks here. The gold villages here are looking Looking very, very undefended as Ulysses is going to be making a break for it over onto this gold mine straight away. Does he have channels? No, he doesn't. We do see the uh, the Gaia Forest coming down onto this position, and, and Nullis has got to be kicking himself. But like, why didn't he just Gaia Forest the, the the position in the first place? As the villagers move over here, going to start getting some gold on uh, in onto that position. That his citizen very, very open and low HP as well. As it doesn't get sniped, that good micro from Null is going to be pulling off this gold mine for the time being. As the forest is spreading out on this position, trying to get a, uh, a nice and defensive location over there. Null is also using his spider layer on this position, not getting any value out of it in the early game. As his economic guild does get sniped down, Ulysses is going to be retreating back. Lots of gold in the bank at the moment for Ulysses, so he might be considering a second town center when all is considered uh, at this game as we do see a handful of units now moving over onto this position we've got two very low hp uh villages here as the spider eggs getting taken down will they go down fast enough it looks like uh, two of them managed to come through as the citizen will be retreating back. We've got the uh, the army swinging around on this position as the Carabalas are going to get a little bit of damage done. We've got automatons coming through here. One very low, two very low HP citizen here. Might end up falling as Nullis loses one. Will he lose the second one as the other one's trying to retreat into the tower here? They do manage to get through there as the... Uh, Terma on this position, getting taken down a little bit as Nullis not paying attention over there. Farms starting to come down as well, but Nullis has now moved back onto this gold mine for a little bit here. He's got his two military buildings up, 60 population to 87 or 89 population as this manor over here getting taken down as well as the automaton as Ulysses has got a significant amount of advantage on this uh, in this game here, it would seem. Is the army going to be retreating back here? We do see the mana getting picked off. And Ulysses checking out this position. We will see the Terma getting cleaned up as the citizen will be retreating away here. As 
Those Caraballas are still holding nicely onto this position as, as the uh, as the villagers are able to get in onto this position now with the trees. It's completely fine. We see a couple of units getting picked off there. Is while Nullis is only at 58 population right now, he's getting his farm set up and he's he is over on this position as well. He's trying to grab this gold mine, but the uh, the mana doesn't go up and Nullis isn't paying attention over here. He's trying to grab this location, but it's just, he's going to have to retreat. He might lose another citizen here as Ulysses is getting further and further ahead in this game here. One more citizen going down as the mana will end up coming up. We see the Terma coming in to try and snipe down those uh, low HP Caraballus, but not able to make it work just yet as the uh, the villagers here getting uh, chased away as one villager, one citizen make it a break for it on that location, but the other one might not be so lucky here. As we do see Nullis sneaking back over onto that gold mine as well. As for whichever reason, Nellis is deciding that sticking just onto this one home gold mine is not a, uh, a way to get success in this game. He's got a lot of food in the bank right now, able to continue making his villages. We see the farms are going to have to start coming up for Ulysses as well as he's onto the last bit of food on this map. As the army pushing through here, Mermillo getting taken down left, right, and center. We see the mana just about to fall yet again as the Terma come into the main base and they snipe a citizen right underneath the town center there. Beautiful play there from Ulysses. Look at the village difference now. He's three citizen in front right now and he is nearly, well, he's over 50 population in front as well as this citizen getting caught out on this position here. Not able to make that one work as the citizen falls and Nullis, he is in a complete, he's in complete disarray in this game as Ulysses, he is, he is not at all phased by the fact he is down uh, to game point here. And Nullis decides in that moment to tap out. GG, well played by Ulysses here. Managing to punish the guy here. I think Nullis made a little bit of a mistake in the early game. Uh, he should have been able to get a 430 here. He found the hunt really early with the Oracle. He dropped the the economic guild. He just didn't quite macro it too well. Got a little bit of idle time on his town center and couldn't manage to make it work after all is said and done there. But GG, well played by, uh, by Ulysses, managing to keep this uh, series nice and close, going up to two wins here. If you guys enjoying it, please consider the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next game.